Michelle, they will be with me throughout the hour. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being What on earth would make a plane go up to 45,000 feet? Rob Mark, pilot and aviation journalist. On that ascent and whether the passengers on board that airplane at 45,000 feet would have been getting oxygen in the normal manner that we do when we fly. Neil, your thoughts on that? Well, more from than being a SEAL, but actually being a uh, an FBI agent, I'm I'm sitting here and I'm taking that airplane, having hostages, and then using that again. In order to turn off the transponder, you can either pull a circuit breaker. Somebody, somebody's still gonna be able to track your your flight. Did you, you know that? Sophisticated the, the systems were on the on the engines. You would. I mean, an air, so a it's person possible that, this pilot perhaps would have known that. Sure, that's possible. I mean, if they knew something. More and more, this appears to be a criminal case, and they're taking a look at these pilots, and they're taking a look at who was on the passenger manifest, but why? Why this region of the world? Our U.S. Geological Survey said, no, it wasn't. It wasn't an earthquake at all. So are they trying to head fake us? We have new questions about the Malaysian government's handling of this. So look at that. We have new questions about the Malaysian government's handling of this. Captain Chuck Nash, if these pilots or somebody else on board the plane who knows how to fly airplanes took over that cockpit, how would they have done it? How would they have managed to do it in a post 9-11 environment? I won't discount the possibility of a um, hijacker. It's a possibility. No. You think yeah. so? Well, I mean, there was an airworthiness directive that came out on the 777 last week. And, and there's... It seems like such a red flag. The way an investigation unfolds is you have many, many different pieces of many different pictures. Having right now, when you take all the, the hysteria and the conspiracy theories out of it, is that something apparently happened. But we'll continue to follow it and much more with our panel. Up next. What the United States military is saying, why the search area is moving, and more on this breaking news that someone may have intentionally disabled the last communication system five hours after the plane went dark. You know, went up, went down, kept it below radar, you know, followed the, just the right coordinates. So what do you think happened then? I, I go back to my original statement. How did they get in there? According to those reports, this airplane hit a specific... And if you're at 35,000 feet, 29,000 feet... We will find that plane in whatever condition it's now in. Wow. Almost all of you, except the front row. Interesting. We'll be right back with our panel. Clearly, we've gotten to the critical part of the debate, the evidence of terror. We'll pick it up right after this break, plus the cell phone question. This program...